Hey everyone, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. So you guys know that I am a huge fan of the 4K format. Movies just sound and look amazing in 4K, from the HDR color grading up to Dolby Vision, and then on the audio side, if you get that Dolby Atmos track in there, it just rumbles the house, and it is so much fun to watch movies that way. A lot of people would say that 4K is going going to be the last of the home media formats. I would agree with that, at least in this lifetime. I think saying it'll be the last ever might be a little short-sighted, but I do think in my lifetime, it'll probably be the last physical format that I have to go out and buy, not have to, that I get to go out and buy uh, to experience the best that the home media has to offer. So with that said, there are a bunch of movies that I still would love to see make the jump to 4K. So today, I thought it'd be fun to do a 4K wish list. Now, these are five films and as I was going through my list I noticed that most of these actually came from the same era so I figured let's just go whole hog uh, I do have other movies I'd love to see make the jump to 4k but I will do those in a part two if you guys enjoy this one just let me know down below if you want to see a part two but today the theme are films from the 2000s so most of these are from like the mid 2000s which is a time that I love I'm very nostalgic for it because of course I was in high school until 2004 Four, so that was just a time I was seeing a bunch of movies and so that's where all these movies are coming from today is the 2000s like I said mostly the mid 2000s from about 2002 to 2007 and I love all of these movies and I would love to see them make the jump so that's what we're going to talk about today so if you guys have a second before we get into this though please hit that like button down below that engagement really does help me out and before I show my five let me know down below what is your number one title you want to see make the jump to 4 Okay, but with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to my top five 2000s films I would love to see make the jump to 4K. I'm just going to go through these in release order because that seems to make the most sense to me. So first up is one of my all-time favorites. This is Signs from 2002, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. I remember seeing this movie in theaters and just being blown away. I always would put this in the horror category when, everyone, when anyone would ever ask me about it because it scared the heck out of me. I remember a story of going to see this in the theaters and uh, as we were walking out, one of the... Uh, uh, patrons in front of us and I still get made fun of to this day by my buddies uh, but they said that movie sucked except for that little girl screaming that little girl that was screaming was of course me like it was it, there's just a couple moments in this where like I couldn't I can't help it like it just I let out an audible scream I love this movie and I just think it would be incredible to see this on 4k I would love like a full ultra like special edition a boutique label release of this because like I said it's just genuinely one of my favorite films out there um, but there are some moments in this that I think would just pop even more on 4k just that contrast of like the shadow behind the night scenes in one moment which I'm, I'm not trying to give any spoilers of any of these of course uh, but there are just some things in here that I think would pop really well in the 4k format with HDR Dolby Vision and I think it would sound great in Dolby Atmos as well just because there's so many like small things in this that can just work really well especially with those heights like the uh creatures on the top of the house the aliens on the top of the house i think would look would sound really good with the heights so this is a movie that i just i wanted in the best available format and for my money 4k would look um look and sound incredible so number one on my list today is from 2002 directed by m night Shyamalan, signs so the second one on my list is one of a, of a trilogy. And frankly, when I do my part two, you're going to see a lot of franchises on there. And this could probably apply as well. This is House of a Thousand Corpses from 2003, of course, directed by Rob Zombie. So this is a movie. This is the first movie in the Firefly, Firefly trilogy. And the third film is uh, available in 4K, Three from Hell. But this one and The Devil's Rejects are only available on Blu-ray. And I think both of them would be incredible for 4K upgrades, but this one in particular I went with just because of the colors of this movie. It looks great on the Blu-ray format already, but if we could jump up to HDR, to Dolby Vision, like there are just so, it's so, it's such a dark film, but it's also very colorful, just like the reds and the neons, I think, uh, would look just amazing in this. You can see some of the screenshots, like even just the character, like the paint on his face, I think would look so cool in 4K. I 
utterly love this movie. It is one of my favorite of the Rob Zombie films. Uh, this is one that, again, I saw it in theaters and just fell in love with it. And ever since then, I've just been a huge Rob Zombie fan. Like, he's just fantastic. And I cannot wait for this to get a 4K upgrade because I just have to feel that it's coming at some point. Uh, this is another one. I really feel like on this one, I'm sure the sound would benefit from it. But for me, really, it's all about the, the visuals and how it would look in 4K just because of some of the, the way the colors could pop even more than they do here i just think it would be a special experience like i love this movie and i just would love to see it get that 4k treatment so number two is house of a thousand corpses and with an honorable mention to the devil's rejects release a whole firefly trilogy on 4k with like tons of special features that would just be the bee's knees in my book so this one is coming in at number two directed by rob zombie Taking a step back and looking at my five films today, I think number three here probably would benefit the most from a 4K release because it is exactly what like I think of when I think of 4K. I want to see big, dumb action movies in 4K, and that's exactly what The Day After Tomorrow is all about from 2004, directed by Roland Emmerich. This is a movie, it's a disaster film, and it's one of my all-time favorite disaster films. It is crazy to me that we got 2012 on 4K, but we we still don't have the day after tomorrow in my book day after tomorrow blows 2012 out of the water like tenfold i like 2012 which i know is kind of a divisive opinion but this is just so much better it is that same idea this end of the world apocalyptic type event happens and we're trying to see you know if our main characters are going to survive or not and how they are going to survive and the opening sequence on this would just be like exhilarating on the 4k format this is one if you watch Watch the uh, the 2012 4K. If you look at reviews of that, the Dolby Atmos on that is supposed to be kind of one of the best out there. And so I think this with that Atmos track would just be phenomenal. This is one that I think will absolutely get a 4K release someday, and it'll benefit from it so much. Like again, just uh, not only the audio side of this one, but the visuals, that white, the snow that you see, like covering New York City, like our our cover shows here, that would just look so crisp and clean on. 4k using hdr this is when i hope it gets the full dolby vision dolby atmos treatment because oh man this would just look amazing so here's one that i think we'll get sooner rather than later a big dumb action flick a disaster movie which is exactly what 4k is made for in my eyes especially with that rumbling soundtrack that it can provide this is what this is all about so number four or i'm sorry number three rather is from 2004 the day after tomorrow directed by roland emmerich Number four is another all-time favorite of mine, and this is one that has an awesome Blu-ray release, but I just want to see it in 4K. This is Zodiac, directed by David Fincher, and it was hard to only pick one Fincher film, but I was trying to get it down to just one for this video. You'll probably see another one in part two if you guys want to see that, but anyway, first off, this Blu-ray release is excellent. Like, look at this. This is, of course, a mock-up of the cover. The cover is a mock-up of the letter that was sent by the Zodiac to the San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, Zodiac, of course, is the serial killer. And then the uh, back here, all these special features, there's a feature-length documentary on here, which is great. So I want to see all of these features transported over to the 4K release. And if I get anything less, frankly, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. But that said, this is a movie that the cinematography on this always got me. I will never forget watching this in theaters the first time in that opening sequence with the fireworks that are going off. And then, of course, our opening kill happens uh, or opening event happens. And I just think that alone would look amazing. Again, that HDR pop, I think, would be fantastic. Um, and then just the rest of this, like it takes place in the San Francisco Bay Area or the Bay Area, like San Francisco area. And the shots that uh, Fincher is able to put together here look incredible on Blu-ray. So just imagine that, you know, four times that on 4K. It's just going to look so much better. Uh, there's a lot of night scenes in this that I think have uh, a lot of potential to be even better on 4k format so again this is one the sound there might be instances I can think of like one moment where they're like in a basement that might benefit from it but really for me this one is all about the visuals this is one of my favorite films in terms of the cinematography and so I would love to see it presented in the best definition possible so though this has an incredible blu-ray release I really think having this on 4k as long as all of these special features are ported over I really think you have a potential for one of the best releases of the year so I really hope we get this one sometime soon so number four from 2000 2007 is the Fincher film Zodiac. 
2007 was a great year because in March, I got to watch Zodiac for the first time. And then a month later, I saw number five here, Grindhouse. This, of course, is both Planet Terror, directed by Robert Rodriguez, and Death Proof, directed by Quentin Tarantino. So this was a movie that was... Unlike anything I'd seen at the time, it's two feature length films. But when you went to the theater to watch Grindhouse, you got both of those movies in one. And then in between the movies were these fake trailers, which were just so fun and so cool to watch. So this release is awesome because, you know, it has both the movies on it and it just has this incredible slip cover, which I absolutely love. But here's another one. Like it is dark, but there are so much there's a lot of use of red in this, especially in Planet Terror that I think would look amazing. And anytime. I can get Tarantino on 4K. I absolutely want it. They just announced that Reservoir Dogs is coming in October, I want to say, of 2022. So that is a must buy for me. So hopefully that's just kind of the first of many more to come because I would love to have everything Tarantino on 4K. Like I want a box set, a 4K box set of all of Tarantino's films. But in the meantime, unless, you know, until we get something like that, give me Grindhouse. The value on this is incredible because you're getting over three hours of, mo of film because you get two feature length movies uh planet terror is a zombie movie which is just so like over the top and incredible and then death proof is basically like a showcase for stunt people like it's fantastic i love it and uh yeah this is just one that like it absolutely would look great on 4k you can see like the use of red is in both the posters even you have this up here like it's just so much fun and over the top and it would look and sound amazing in 4k so yeah this is one that i think would just be so cool cool to, to get that upgrade so I don't hear many people talk about this as much anymore but I remember when it came out it was so it was such a big deal for me and my friends we absolutely loved it so to see this one get the 4k format would just make my make me feel good and so I would love to see that announcement sometime soon here so again Poured over all these special features because this one does have a good number of them as well. I really want those trailers in between the two movies because that was awesome to watch. I remember some people left to go to the bathroom and I'm just thinking like, you're missing so much. Like these trailers are fantastic. Rob Zombie did one of the trailers for it as well. So anyway, Grindhouse from Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez. This one absolutely needs a 4K release. So that is the top five 2000s films that I think deserve an upgrade. All right, so these were five that I would love to see get upgraded. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with these? Like, would you pick these up if they were released on 4K? Or do you think the Blu-ray might be sufficient? But let me know also down below, what do you want to see on 4K? Like I asked the at the beginning, what is the number one film that you would love to see ported over to 4K? Uh, and again, if you want to see a part two, I already have five more, actually six more right now picked out. So if you want to see a part to let me know down below and I'd be happy to do a second part to this wish list. But the 4K format is amazing. If you're not on board yet, you're, you're just missing out. You're doing yourself a disservice because I really don't think 8K is going to be a home media format that we are really going to deal with. It'll probably be a digital format, frankly. So in the meantime, I'm sticking with my 4K because I absolutely love it. But again, let me know down below what you guys think about these five picks and what your favorite pick would be. But that will do it for today, guys. So if you did enjoy this one, please Please give that like button a hit down below. That engagement really does help me out. But like I always say, I don't just talk movies. I talk all things media, be it books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this one. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time.